timing of Boeing's statement is noteworthy because it follows news that German government leaders are reopening a series of checks to the optimal post-tornado fleet. The plan is for the plane to be retired by 2030. Depending on who is questioned, the study could be a routine exercise in a new government that sets a key decision, or the product of a chain of events that warrants a closer look at alternatives, including Lockheed Martin's F-35. Boeing is ready to expand its German supplier network if the new Berlin government chooses to buy a version of the F-18 fighter jet to partially replace the country's tornado, the company announced Tuesday. The German aerospace giant's subsidiary said it had pinged more than 10 local companies to support the Super Hornet and Growler variants, which Germany said years ago were likely to be purchased as part of a mixed fleet of F-18s and Euro fighters. While potential local partners remain unnamed in the statement, Boeing claims the outreach will reach a deal worth around 3.5 billion euros, 4 billion United States dollars. It also highlights once again Germany's unique requirements for a nuclear weapon capable fighter bomber to perform tornado duties. That would mean keeping a fleet of planes to be loaded with American atomic bombs for use in a hypothetical nuclear conflict. Boeing's pitch requires the promise of a state-of-the-art electronic warfare aircraft, the Growler, paired with a nuclear-capable workhorse, the Block 3 Super Hornet, that won't break the bank. But unrelated disruptions in the complex Franco-German-Spanish future combat air system could open the playing field in new ways. According to industry officials in Berlin, aircraft maker Dassault, France's national lead for the Marquis program, has so far refused to share access to critical avionics information for its eventual FCAS aircraft, dubbed Next Generation Weapon Systems. Germany has rejected such black box technology, with officials arguing that access to the entire technology package is essential for future maintenance and development work. While some officials say the death of FCAS, or its split into an additional effort with the promise of greater cooperation, could pave the way for the F-35 at least in the nuclear bombing role. Others argue the new fifth-generation fighter jet, the fleet would be too shiny for a mission that was so unloved by Berlin.